And we're back in the game, YouTube. Check this out. We're making Bavarian pretzels. Soft on the inside, chewy on the outside. They are delicious. This recipe is so easy. Let's get into it. So I'm not going to go over too many details, but I want to go over the important parts. First thing being this pre-ferment, you're going to need to do this the day before or the night before and let it go for 12 hours. All the things will be linked in the description, but the second thing to be that is most important is this lye solution. Two tablespoons to one liter of water. Listen, use gloves, be careful, but trust me, it's way better than baking soda. Trust me. Now, super easy. Feed your yeast, add the pre-ferment, then I'm adding flour, and I'm going to mix this. I realized it was better to melt the butter, so I melted the butter, and then I added it to the dough. That's just a, a note, pro tip. And listen, after about 12 to 15 minutes of mixing in the mixer, I kneaded it, made it into a ball, covered. We're going to let this proof now. Um, here comes the part that I really wanted to get into. And this is the part that was really intriguing. So listen, I punched the dough down and then I, now I'm shaping. And basically what I like to do is start with a ball first and then I go into actual shaping. You can skip this step, but I think it just, you yield a better product and it's a little bit more organized. Now I'm making little bread, mini bread rolls, and then I'm also going to make a few pretzels. Now, believe it or not with the pretzels, I don't like the skinny, skinny end because I feel like it cooks unevenly and I'm OCD. So I keep it all the same. Now here's a little trick for the lye bath. I'm using a plastic bowl because I don't want any reaction. I don't want to risk it. So I didn't use stainless steel, even though you can use a mixing bowl. Right here, I actually ordered some pretzel salt off of the internet, and I really do think it makes a difference. But here, you know, it's up to you whether you want to use fleur de sel or pretzel salt. So, um, and you can garnish with whatever you want, seeds, cumin, poppy seeds, whatever you want. And uh, this gives me immediate anxiety because uh, scoring is not one of my strong suits, but you know, I always go for it. I'm a go-getter, so. I'm and then next, all I'm gonna do is slit the bottom of the actual pretzel because it's kind of traditional, so I wanted to uh, make that move. And then look, here we go. Boom, look at these. These came out so good, way better than I expected. Um, I only let them proof for about 20 minutes before I went in because the dough was a little bit warm, but I mean, come on. I'm really happy with how these came out, actually, and uh, listen, I'm just giving a little PSA on how to use lye over baking soda. I've tried both ways, and I'm telling you, dipped in lye is far superior. But I completely understand if you want to switch to baking soda. It, you know, it's really up to you if it's your house. So, listen, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you made it this far, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. I'm going to be creating content on the daily. And it, I think it's really important to know that I took a lot of time to transfer this recipe from Grams to the other system and i don't agree with it but i know what the people want so you should be able to make this at your house with no issues all the details and stuff will be in the description have a good night peace